Hey everyone, and welcome to the first video in a mini-series on the recording setup here at Dark Highway Recording. Today we're going to be talking about this. This is the Alesis ADAT HD24 hard disk recorder. Uh, this is an absolutely fearsome piece of technology. Uh, I love this thing. I've been using it for 20 years now, and I've never felt the need to upgrade because this thing is so awesome. It is a digital hard disk recorder. Uh, it will record 24 tracks of high-quality digital audio onto a hard drive. And you can take a regular hard drive, like the kind you'd find in your computer, and put it into one of these carriages and slot it into one of these bays. Uh, there's two bays. They're hot swappable, and uh, you can do direct backups, direct copies, uh, things like that. And uh, it's absolutely great. Super high performance and super, super reliable. That's the reason why I've kept this thing around. Much more reliable than, for example, recording directly into Pro Tools or into your digital audio workstation uh, on a Mac or a PC. Uh, if you have mission critical stuff, this thing delivers. It has never once screwed up in heavy use over 20 years. Um, yeah, now, the great thing about this, there's two reasons why we use it here at uh, Dark Highway Recording as our main recording device is because, number one, it can do 24 tracks of simultaneous recording. Uh, for a lot of studios, you know, you can have an infinite number of tracks in Pro Tools or whatever solution you're using, but the limitation was always, how many tracks can you record simultaneously? And uh, this thing can do 24. So it's great because if you're recording, say, a drum kit, you got 24 mics uh, all around the room and stuff like I have here, uh, you know, you can record all of that at once. So you don't have to mix it down and put it onto eight tracks or something. Um, the other reason is that it's just super reliable. And the setup I have here is that uh, we record directly in. And once your audio is recorded, uh, this thing connects up to a local area network with Cat5 Ethernet. And uh, it's great because it appears on your network like any other network attached storage device. So you can drag and drop the WAV files out of this device into your digital audio workstation and uh, you know work with them there. So yeah, now for those who care about uh, music history or at least uh, the history of studio technology, this is the third generation ADAT device. So in the early 1990s, Alesis came out with the original ADAT machine where it replaced the uh, reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders in studios, and the original ADAT recorded eight tracks onto a Super VHS tape. And so this records 24 tracks onto a hard drive. And they have perfected the ADAT, in my opinion. This was the sort of peak of the ADAT technology. And uh, I think it's absolutely fantastic. And you can, still, you can still buy these on the used market they're really cheap, they're really awesome, and uh, the great thing is that the uh, part of the machine that undergoes the most wear and tear, which is the actual recording device, is disposable, is the hard drives. So uh, it means that the machines are still really, really reliable. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Pay no attention to the Behringer equipment all around <laughs> this thing. Uh, I will be covering uh, all the... Uh, components of the recording setup that we do here in future. So hopefully you found that informative. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.